everybody. Let's keep on practicing with the method of sections. So this problem, we're trying to find the axial forces. Uh, let's see, here, here, and here. Okay, so it looks pretty straightforward that we should just cut it like that. Okay, so if we... I mean, we don't need both sections, but let me just draw both of them just so we see what they look like. Okay, so the left section will look like this. This is between E and G, D, G, D, F, and then there's, let me pick coordinates. There's a pin at A, so then let me decompose that reaction at A into components. And then there's a load at over here. Okay, so that's the left section. The right section, let's see. Looks like this. So these are the same axial forces. Okay, and then there's a load over here, four kilonewtons, and then there's a roller over here. Okay, so it looks like no matter which section we pick, this has five unknowns, this has four unknowns. We don't, we can only write three equations at most. So we need to have another free body diagram which is the whole thing. All right, so draw the free body diagram of the entire structure. So it just looks like something like this. And we don't care about the individual members of the structure at this point. All we care about is that there's a pin here, a roller here, and a load here and here. Okay, so for the whole thing, we can write three equations to solve for these three unknowns. So at that point, we would know these three unknowns, meaning for this section, we'd only have these three to solve for. For the left section, only these three to solve for. Okay, so let me make a little bit of space Okay, so for the whole structure, we can write three equations. Okay, so x direction, we got here, here, that's it. Y direction, a y, minus six, minus four. And is that everything? Yep. Okay, some torque about somewhere clever. So if I sum torque about here, that's clever because then this unknown doesn't provide any torque, but then I still have to deal with these. If I sum torque about here, neither of these provides any torque, so I'm going to do that. Some torque about right here. Okay, so then there's torque by this, which is going uh, clockwise, which is actually the negative z direction, and the lever arm from here to here is right here, 800. And it's going in the negative z direction. Okay, the torque by this is also negative. And the lever arm from here to here is right here, look. 1200 millimeters. And then the torque by this force is going this way in the positive z direction. And the lever arm from here to here is 600 millimeters. Okay, so here are the unknowns. Okay, so then you could solve this for i, plug it in right here, solve for x, ay is 10 kilonewtons. 
Okay, so now we know all three, AX, AY, and I. Now, we just need to pick one of these two, um, whichever one. Either one, there's three unknowns. So I'm gonna go with uh, this one. Okay, so I'm picking this one. So the right side section. Okay, X direction. Oh, let's see, do we know this angle? This angle right here. Let's take a look at the original picture. Okay, so that's right here. So let me draw, draw that triangle. Okay, so here to here is 400. Here to here is 300. Okay, so then tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so then we know the angle, just take arc tangent of 3 fourths. Okay, so we know the angle. So, and then my coordinates were like this. Okay, so in the x direction, negative t, eg, cosine. Oh, no. I was looking at dg. dg. Okay, and then this one, minus t, e, g. And then this one, minus t, d, f. And this one, minus i. Okay, and then in the y direction, we got this, negative t, d, g, sine this and is that everything okay that's it now let's some torque about somewhere clever i think right here what point is that g so point g is right here so let's sum the torque about point g because there's no torque due to either of these about point g so there's torque from this, and the lever arm here to here is 300 millimeters. And that would cause torque this way in the negative z direction. So this would be negative. The torque by this is zero, about point G. And then there's torque by I going this way, which is in the positive z direction and the lever arm from here to here is 300 okay so 300 i okay so then we have three unknowns in which order would you solve these? I'll solve this one first, right, for T, D, G. So, yeah, you have that. And then, let's see, that goes here. And then we have two more, let's see. Um, oh, I shouldn't have underlined. This is known, okay. So again, solve this one for dg, that goes right here. Solve this one for df, which goes right here. And then there's one more unknown. There you go. So now you know all three. Okay, so keep on practicing method of sections. I'll see you on the next video.